and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teamer Sneak. This is like a, it's kind of like Sneak and Show if you are uh, familiar with Legacy, if you're familiar with Sneak Attack. That's the, that's what we're going to be doing here is we have like some Sneak Attack type stuff with this Teamer deck. We're going big or going home. That's what we're going to be doing here. So th the point of the deck is to use Perforos, uh, that ability of two and a red to put a red creature or artifact creature uh, from your hand onto the battlefield, or Ilharg. Whenever Ilharg attacks, you put <clears throat> a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. So we're, we're using these two cards to sneak in a bunch of big threats. You know, as you can see over here, niv -Mizzet, Ravager Worm, Terror of Mount Velus, which if you're not familiar with this card, is a 5-5 five -five double striker that gives all your other creatures double strike also whenever it enters. And then Meteor Golem and Dracusith. So we're trying to sneak in all those, those creatures. And then um, afterwards, Perforo says, then you have to sacrifice it, which that's kind of a bummer. You don't want to sacrifice your creature. And Ilharg says, then put it back into your hand. And that's also kind of a bummer. You want to just keep it out there, right? So that's what Thassa does. So then uh, we have Thassa exile the creature and then flicker it and then bring it back onto the battlefield under our control so we don't need to get rid of it. You know, we don't need to sacrifice it with Perforos or, or put it back into our hand with Ilharg. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of that's just like what the, the deck's doing. And then if we have a Kiora in play, you know, then, um, you know, like let's say we have a Kiora in play and we put like, you know, something like a Ravager Worm in, and then we draw a card off of Kiora and then we flicker it. And so then it comes back in and we draw a card again. Um, so yeah, we can have Kiora draw some extra cards for us too. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, this is definitely pretty clunky. Yeah, this is, this is definitely, uh, a very greedy deck and some good high quality, uh, jank here. And we're, we're going to see if it works. The, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is there's only 23 land and I just don't really feel like 23 land is going to be enough, but you know that's that's the that's the deck here. Of course, this is this is a viewer built deck. Um, so that's the one thing that I'm really worried about. There's four incubations to help you find uh, different creatures. You know, like it helps you because you have to find Perforos and Ilharg, right? So like we're trying to find Perforos and Ilharg. And incubation does that. Shared summons can go grab them too. I really wish incubation would grab land though. Like I wonder if we would just want more Bond of Flourishings because Bond of Flourishing gets any permanent, so we could get extra lands. Um. So yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the 23 land. Uh, Gilded Goose is a, you know, it's kind of like we're playing more though, because like Gilded Goose, Paradise Druid, like these things ramp. So if you if you want to add those, like we have 30 mana cards if you want to count Gilded Goose and Paradise Druid, so that's good. And Gilded Goose, um, you know, you it's only like a, you know, you basically you play, you get to use it one time, then you, your food's gone, right? So that's always a bummer. But Gilded Goose with Thassa is pretty sweet because then Thassa can just flicker the Gilded Goose and now you have more food. And so you can kind of, you can, you know, half Gilded Goose, you can use it every single turn if you just flacker, uh, flicker it with Thassa. So that's a pretty cool combination there, too. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what we got. So here we go. Let's let's play this through a league. We're going to play until we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. And let's see if we can pull off the unthinkable. We're going to try to sneak and then Thassa. Here we go. Yeah, Perforos only works with red and artifact creatures, which is why there's not Agent of Treachery, which is why there's Meteor Golem as an artifact creature instead of Agent of Treachery. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, we don't have green mana. Hmm. How many green lands do we have in here? Four, eight, nine, ten... Um, 14, 15, 16. So do we keep where we have to draw one of the 16 cards? If we don't, we lose. That's probably not a great keep. Okay, this works. Because we can use Incubation to look for a mana creature. To help speed us up. 
And I think I'm just going to get rid of island. I don't really need two blue sources, right? We have niv mizzet per rune. But no, we don't really need two blue sources. I'm going to keep the Fabled Passage to thin. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, Thassa with Wicked Wolf and Gilded Goose could be a, could be a good way to make... Like, that could be pretty scary. All those gross spirals. I want those. All right, so no mana creature, but we got we got a Meteor Golem to be able to put in off of Ilharg. And we're just closer to a mana creature. So I'm not going to shuffle the Table Passage yet. Yeah, Benthic Biomancer, Glinthorn, Buccaneer, and Heliod is an infinite damage loop. Yep. All right, I'm going to play this in case, because if we grab the Goose. All right, no Goose. What about Kiora? Yeah, I guess I grab Kiora, right? QR will ramp us into Ilharg also. Maybe not, though. I guess they'll just kill Kiora. But if they kill Kiora, they're not killing me. So that's good. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. All right, not dead yet. dead yeah I mean we could jump block and like sack the food and like where, where are we really doing all right so no sweepers um I don't even know if Setessen petitioner is really gonna be that great Ooh, I guess that is really that's a cool card with acid though. Oh right, we can play Tybalt and they don't get to gain life. And that's kind of like what their deck's trying to do. All right, so we'll play Tybalt. I think. I want to take out the Shared Summons and a Terror of Mount Velus. Do I want to play this Petitioner? Nah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we could have, yeah, could have the Red Wrath in the sideboard. That could help out. Uh, of course, you know, like we are playing the mana creatures. Wrath plus mana creatures isn't wonderful, but that may be just a necessity. All right, we should hopefully ramp a little bit better than last time now.
Need to draw some lands. Perfect. Not a land. Get out here. Need land. Uh, what's the best deck out of out of those decks? Um, probably. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the, the best deck in standard is, but out of those three, Teamer Reclamation, Blue Eye Control, or Red Deck Wins, I'd say probably Blue Eye Control. Standard in general, yeah. There's. I don't think there's a best deck in standard right now. I mean, it's. We're way too early for that. Still, not not way too early, but still too early for that. Hey, BT. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, getting us to sub number 10 on the day. Okay. So we're going to... Yeah, we're going Ilharg. Am I shocking? Yeah, I'm shocking. Nature flows with vigor. I think I'm gonna keep Gilded Goose as a blocker and in incubation next turn. Yeah, you know, we we're gonna cast Thassa next turn. All right, so that's another sub goal towards our next twelve hour stream, which I already owe one of those, but we're getting close to having two of those pretty soon. No. Not my Ilharg. We are going to be able to do the thing next turn. With whatever was the best big creature in our top. There we go. Updated that. Whatever was the big best creature in our top. However many cards. Alright. So it's right there. Yeah. Uh, meteor Golem. It's a good one. Nalda! Coming back for the third a month now. Thanks, Nalda. Oh, hey, Tekro. You're doing good with the Rakdos Burn the Ladder? Awesome. Okay, so we saw we put a Meteor Golem to the bottom. Basically, should I cast Incubation or should I shuffle these and then cast Incubation? So we would take a land out and we'd put shuffle those in. It's probably better to, to shuffle first. I think like just what's our best chance of hitting something? Tilt. Mm. Wait, how does Thassa work with Ilharg anyway? I guess... I guess if I, if I flicker ill hard, I draw a card. I was thinking just resetting this and getting this this food, but I guess I would have drawn a card. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. I know. So yeah, I know Ilharg would put in Thassa, but then I guess I guess Thassa would just come back to hand. Hmm. All right, that'll do. I mean, I guess we have enough lands that we can just like hard cast our stuff too. Exile all multicolored permanents. That's rude. Yeah, so just Kiora was the only one on the battlefield. Niv, miss it. Yeah, we might as well just cast it. What? Oh, right. Reveal a creature. Uh, yeah, I want this creature. Thank you. All right, let's tap the first strike, dude. We're doing it. Yep. Order them like that. So we can flicker Ravager Worm. Come back. 1-1 one, one counter. Chomp. We did it. We did the thing. Being of your upkeep, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other creature you control. What? That's a card. Um, I don't know. One to you. this tap that tap that <laughs> this deck is all I dreamed of <laughs> But it works is pretty awesome. All right, so now we flicker. Now we can fight the Daxus. My opponent's like, where's my exile all the multicolor stuff card go? <laughs> the jank must flow. <laughs> so the, the jankiest crap ever. It really is. That's why this is awesome. Sneak them in with Ilharg. Flicker them. We use Thassa to tap their stuff. All right, perfect. I don't know. Does this even matter? Probably doesn't. Uh, I guess they have... 
Yeah, I guess it does. All right. <laughs> if I was him, I wouldn't be mad that I'm losing. This deck's too cool. Next person, I would not even be mad if I lost to this. <laughs> Alright, got the Gilded Goose. So we can ramp a little bit. Say how do you get how do you get how do you queue into the mono white impassioned orator guy? You have to put um, Terror of Mount Velus in your deck. Two copies. It's a requirement. I gotta do a lot of shocking. I guess the goose. We already got a Thassa. And because of Thassa and flickering, I feel safe just playing another one. I'm doing good, Luke T. Yeah, I'm moving in like two weeks. Moving back home with you know, friends and family. I'm really excited about it. I wish I could cast this Ravager Worm this turn, but I can't. I also wish I would have just put it in the Breeding Pool tap. Well, no. no that's good. Yeah, we had five we have five mana this turn. Worm cost six. So I need them not to like they haven't been playing lands, which is good. I need them not to make this pride mate too big. Yeah, see that's good. Yeah, I'm I'm glad they're not attacking with the hawk to gain that extra life for the pride mate. Yeah, reason I'm moving out. Yeah, I just want to move where, you know, I just want to live where I want to live, basically. And I want to live there, not here. All right, you got me. Six damage. You can count it. Yeah, one short of playing Kiora and then Ravager Worm. Jump. Ravager Worm, Thassa combo. And then we'll start drawing cards with the Kiora. Every time it comes back in. <laughs> that is one of the best animations of the game for sure. Ravager Worm animation is sweet. Like, well, my creature's getting chomped anyway. Mr. Chompers. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal.
Are you gonna chomp? Boom. So now every end stuff we not only get to kill one of their creatures, but we also draw a card doing it. Scry. Ooh, that's good. Anger. Show us you're alive. I guess I make a creature. Oh, they're so cute. Now, Incubation Druid can go find something else. Hopefully we find the Terror of Mount Velas. I want to play that card. I want to see if there's an animation. Don't concede upon it. Let me go find Terror of Mount, Mount Velas. I guess I really don't need to be doing that. All right, come on, Terror. Oh, right. There it is. Let's cast it. Any animation? Oh, you better not conceive this on the stack. No, no animation. What? It's the terror. All right, well, all my creatures have double strikes. So we should probably attack with these double strike goose. Gooses. Add double up zero. <laughs> Battle goose. Ocean surges, life thrives. <laughs> Peace was never an option. I adore. Well, Terra doesn't have an animation, so we're going to flicker the Ravager Worm because has a cool animation. Uh, I guess you don't get to actually see the animation if it doesn't do anything. Well, our deck did everything that we won, so even if we lose the next two... We at least got to do anything we'd ever want. This time. Whoa, Perforos has a sweet animation. It doesn't have haste, only your other creatures have haste. Yeah, that's true. I could have cheated in with Perforos. It's true. All right, want to know.
<laughs> yeah, we, we pay for stuff. All right, that was great. It probably won't ever work again. But it worked the one time, and you can't ever take that from us. It worked once. Oh. Come on, Red. Look at us, not having fun. Just killing the, the crazy jank deck really fast. Thanks. I hope they get some 7 drop they'll never be able to cast. So we could turn our Paradise Druid into a Lizard. A Frog Lizard. Even. I feel like if I play Thassa then and try to flicker the Paradise Druid, they're going to kill the Paradise Druid. And that's probably not great for me. Really use blue mana. Cause I can't actually tap the Paradise Druid, because otherwise they kill it. Alright, well now I can tap it. Because they tapped out. Alright, we're one, one man away from Ravager Worm. That's a painful one. I don't know if we really have very much in our sideboard either. 
But that's that's the trouble with 23 lands that you saw with that game. Even with our opponent having a, a really poor mono red hand and not doing any not not doing very much. It's the trouble with 23 lands. All right, so we got these Satessan Petitioners that we're going to try out. <clears throat> and see how, it, see how it works. Yeah, Red Wrath could, could be helpful, and yeah, probably some more lands than 23. Okay. I'm not gonna, you know, shock for goose, shock for petitioner, like we're just doing all that damage. Well we're not the deck's not really trying to to hard cast all these things, but it does need to get to five mana because you know we need to play Ilharg or Perforos that cost five to cheat them into play. <laughs> he thought we had like twenty seven lands. <laughs> Yeah, I wish Incubation could be able to grab lands, too. But no, you know, it has, like, the, the Gilded Goose, Paradise Druids, Kiora, all that stuff ramping. It's just that plan is not spectacular against... Against red removal spells that just kill kill one of your lands for one mana. One mana instant speed destroy a land. That hurts. But we're kinda doing it over here. Speaking of lands, we've been drawing lands. We're going to be able to play Niv Mizzet next turn. Yeah, Bond of Flourishing is two mana. You gain three life. hand was much better this time. Three, four, five, six. So they attack out, they do six damage. It'd be pretty sweet to draw just a basic land, be able to play Dracuseth next turn. But honestly, we probably have to be cracking this food. All right. Well, they're gonna they're gonna have to they're gonna have to burn us out because all their creatures are dead. We got oh no, Dracuseth doesn't trigger off of Ilharg. Right.
Hmm. All right, cool. Hey, we got a game against Mono Red. We should. That that should count as a like a a match win. Like we should have like three three chances to get one game. <laughs> I should just count that as, as we win the match. I mean, come on, look at this stuff. This beat Mono Red. <laughs> um. Yeah, moral victory. Definitely. We have like no removal that costs less than six mana. <laughs> and Ravager Worms, like our first removal spell. We got double Steamkin on the play. Double steam, steamkin, double fervent champion. Yeah, I mean it's just. If we had the red wrath, if we could red wrath here. Storm's Wrath. They'd be down to two cards, let's be at 11. Like, honestly, like, we would we'd have a really good chance if this Terror of Mount Velus was a Storm's Wrath. I mean, Kiora is like my better play, but we're dead if we play Kiora. Well, we're just dead. Oh, is that 13? They attack for 13. Yeah, at least any, yeah, basically any deck was going to be dead to that, not just ours. We still won that match. We got that game too. Alright, ramp to Ilharg. All right, we're facing Healer's Hawk again. It's like we're in the the mono color bracket, either mono red or mono white. Gross. What are with these curves? Alright, well, I'm going to be casting the Incongruity to exile the Pride Mate. And turn it into a 3 3.
So I guess if we draw an untapped land, we can actually cast Dracuseth and put in Meteor Golem. Or, you know, the other way around. You know, whichever way. I guess we would want to cast Dracuseth. Because Dracuseth's not going to trigger off of putting it into play off, off of Ilharg. Oh, whoops. I meant to block. Okay. Whoops. Purple Rose. I'm probably supposed to keep Purple Rose. Now we're just gonna make another food with the goose, crack this food, gain three lives so we can you know not take any damage this turn. Yeah, this song is by the Crash Kings, or just Crash Kings, and You Got Me is the name of the song. I mean, so I can still just cast Dracuseth. Or do I play Perforos and then wait until next turn and then next turn put in these things? Probably just cast Dracuseth. Yeah, that's the other thing. I could I could meteor golem destroy the pacifism, but then uh, then attack. But then Dracuseth doesn't again. Dracuseth doesn't trigger when you put it into play off of Ilhark because it's already attacking, so you don't get the attack trigger. <clears throat> Okay, do I kill them? So that's 10, 24. Yeah, so they're just. Yeah, so they're just dead. Okay. So we Meteor Golem. Destroy this. Attack, attack. No, let me put in the Terror of Mount Velis. So yeah, we had lethal with Terror of Mount Velis. Okay. So yeah, I think like that shared summon should probably just be a, a land one. But we'll do the same sideboard we did in the first round. Yeah, bringing in Tybalt for a terror and the shared summons. Well, the Dracu Seth was going to wipe up their whole battlefield is what they thought, but they're actually going to be taking lethal, which they probably didn't realize. Um, this is turn three, Kiora, turn four, Perforos, turn five, put in Meteor Olum. It's pretty slow. I 
basically just keeping the incongruity because as we saw that last game, like that was a big reason why I won that last game is we incongruity that a Johnny's Pride mate. If we didn't have that, we would have lost. And so I was worried about a fast start that the, again. Bam Llama. Bam Llama. That's a cool name. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Hope you're having a very good Wednesday. I think it's our 12th sub of the day. Iliad. No blocks. Please don't have like Linden or like something that turns on Heliod. Okay, good. Not turning Heliod into a creature, that's good. Now I'm salty. So, uh, I think we block with the goose. Keep Kiora alive for a turn. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Alright, but I but how this game's played out, I wish we had the uh, Meteor Golem instead of the Incubation. You know, this would be a great time for me to go on. I need that thing in play too. So my my plant or so my my two options is either go to next turn and incongruity the pride mate and just get rid of that thing. No, I'm gonna or put in Ilharg that attacks, puts in Thassa, Wait, was Thassa Thassa didn't actually do damage, did it? I don't think so. Have Thassa flicker the Ilharg. It's in here. But that's it goes back to my hand. Mm. 
But now I'm taking this hit from this pride mate. It's on the opponent. It's on you. Just pass priority. No, you're not doing anything. Give. Why don't you give my Ilharg lifelink? That'd be cool. Dracky Sith. You don't even get to kill everything. Hmm. I only have one of the double strike dragons in in my um I only have one in 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 the deck Wow, we found it. Do four up here, and then three and three. Double strike. All these stuff has double strike. Crazy. Crazy games. We really did it. We did it twice. We pulled it off twice. Twice. Yeah, that's our yeah, they were at like 30 something. And then put them down to negative 24. <laughs> Out of nowhere. All right, we did it twice. Two and one. <laughs> yep. Wow. As I said, like the first, you know, whenever we won the first one, I was like, well, even if this doesn't work again, we at least got it to work once. So we got it to work twice. Hey, thanks, Mike. Thanks to the Twitch Prime Sub. Got it to work twice. Are we facing Mono White again? I hope so. Let's cast this. Yeah, maybe it would have been better to incubation first, but it still worked out. Now we just need to draw it on top land. Unfortunately, the incubation did put a bunch of lands down to the bottom. But we need to untap land to play Ilharg. Land. 
Still. Land. Boo. Uh-oh. I am proud of all those who stand up to me. My pride grows stronger. There's gonna be some large creatures. Come on, land. Even if we get a land now and, and are able to play Ilharg, we're, we're just taking lethal. It just doesn't matter anymore. I mean, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, it's just lethal right now. I can do ten. So actually, I guess it didn't matter. All right, let's not take out the terror. Let's take out a Niv Mizzet instead. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the terror. Yeah, I can't miss those land drops. If if we would have drawn like that one land after you know after playing the Thassa, we like almost assuredly would have won that, but oh well. If I would have just not cast, I mean, obviously this is just complete hindsight, but if I would have just not cast the incubation, because uh, the incubation saw like three or four lands, and if I just don't cast that, then we would have drawn lands. Obviously just complete hindsight. Why is Niv in the deck? Because Niv's awesome. Our one win against Mono Red was because of Niv. Niv just... That's good. Come on, deck, you can do it. All right, we can do it. Thanks, Shaka. That's a good clip. Flicker this, it's going to have summoning sickness, won't it? So yeah, I won't be able to tap it for mana. So I should not, I just should not have played the Gilded Goose because I need to use Thassa to tap something. Or I could have just flickered the Goose. Also, would have got another food.
Yeah, good curve, good curve. We mulled five. And drew double Thassa. There's Elharg. Need you earlier, bud. Alright, I guess the model white deck can get one. Okay. But that's still that was still a lot of fun. I honestly wasn't really even expecting a two and two. But we'll take it. Um, as far as the deck goes, twenty yeah, as we just kind of found out, 23 is just not enough land. Uh, it's really not. And uh, so I, d I don't like the shared summons. Um, but uh, incubation looked better than I thought it would. I did like the incubation. It looked better than I thought. And I think probably the fourth Thassa, probably just, maybe just play like three Thassa. Um, but yeah, we need, we need a couple more lands. Uh, Sideboard wise, yeah, we gotta have sweepers. That's de that's a definite, you know, like need, you know, even like four storm storms wraths. I wonder if it's possible to play. Maybe not. No, I, I don't know. I like the Gilded Goose Thassa stuff. Like that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, basically, we need couple more lands at least like two more lands and we need sweepers in the sideboard we don't need as many like legion war boss is a card you don't need at all i don't i wouldn't think you need legion war boss um and honestly you don't really need tibble like to yeah like so tibble war bot like tibble war boss like these could just be sweepers that's you may even want like six sweepers so this deck had a 66 win rate in your eyes. Yeah, that's true. We did. Yeah, that that one against Mono Red was basically a win. Um, uh, so yeah, it was. It was uh, we got to do some cool stuff. All right, y'all on YouTube, um, you know, leave those comments over there. Hope y'all really enjoyed this deck. Um, yeah, this was jank at its best. This was, this was pretty sweet. Um, why Meteor Golem over Agent of Treachery? It's because Perforos can put in red creatures and artifact creatures. So Perforos can put in Meteor Golem, but cannot put in Agent of Treachery. Um, all right, there we go. So that's Teamer, Sneak, and Thassa. So, uh, yeah, I already said all that stuff. All right, there we go. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.